Canada fell in love with Nikki Yanofsky in 2010 when her song, I Believe, became the anthem of the Winter Olympics. And since then, she has released several highly acclaimed albums. And she's out with a new one called Nikki by Starlight. Here's a sample. Mere alcohol doesn't thrill me at all. So tell me why should it be true that I get a kick out of you? That was just a snippet of the single I Get a Kick Out of You, a jazz standard that Nikki has reimagined. And she joins us this morning from Montreal. Good to see you, Nikki. Good to see you. This entire album, in fact, is reimagined jazz standard. So tell us about the process of taking some of your most beloved jazz songs and putting your own spin on them. I was trying to imagine if I had been around when these songs were being written, how I would have approached them. So that was my whole goal with this album, is to recreate that vintage jazz experience for a modern audience. It sounds great. You also co-produced this album, which is a first for you. What was that experience yes. like? It was so much fun because I had such a really strong vision and my collaborator, Paul Schroffel, he arranged and co-produced this album with me. We just really aligned and it was really great to bring that vision to life. Nikki, you won't remember this, but I remember the first time I ever saw you performed. It was at sort of a, a private, private smaller party in the city of Toronto. And I imagine even then you had some of the passion for these songs that you wanted to rework and you were able to put them on this album? Absolutely. Well, I started out singing jazz even before the Olympics. That was like my bread and butter. That's really what got me into music to begin with. And there were so many songs that I wasn't really able to sing because the lyrics were too mature for a kid. <laughs> and so that's what this album is. It's like so many songs that I've always wanted to do that I finally get to. Well, your hope is that, you think you mentioned it, that this album introduces jazz to an entirely new audience. What, what is it that you think hooks people to jazz? What hooked you? What hooked me was the freedom of expression that comes with the genre. Like, it's so cool that everybody gets to reimagine and do a song, um, and then whichever version is kind of the best, it rises to the top. Like, that's how jazz used to work back in the day. And so um, it's just all about creativity and what you bring to the table that makes the song yours. I love that. Hey, I was scrolling your Instagram, and you shared this great story about a nickname that Quincy Jones gave you. And, you know, he is a mentor. <laughs> yeah. You guys are in close contact. He calls you Wobble Oni. Can you explain yes. where that comes from? <laughs> he calls me Wobbaloni. Actually, it started with another uh, mentor of mine, the late, great Rod Temperton. He started calling me Wobbles <laughs> because I was always on my phone, and whenever I would get a text, I'd be like, oh, I got a text. And he's like, you literally wobble when you get a text. And then Quincy took that and ran with it and said that I also wobble when I sing because my knees go crazy. I tap my heel rather than my toe, which makes my knee go nuts. And he huh. says, it looks like you have wobbly knees. <laughs> Hence wobble. I love that story very much. Do you have a favorite on this album, Nikki? My favorite on this record? Oh, it's like picking a favorite child. It's impossible. Um, lately, I've been listening to um, It Never Entered My Mind and Come On Tally Boo, which is the lead single off the album now that it's out, which is really fun. It's kind of a French and English little up-tempo swing. It is fantastic. I'm a big lover of jazz, so I'm happy to see you do this yeah. album. Nikki's new album is Nikki by Starlight. It's available now. Thanks, Nikki. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.